It's an exciting day for Laura Dominguez and her 11-year-old daughter Paulina. At their parish in Mexico City, they're picking up the equivalent of a jackpot for Mexican Catholics, tickets to attend a mass presided by the Pope himself. It's very exciting. It's incredible. I never imagined I was going to get the opportunity to attend. Pope Benedict XVI will travel to Mexico for the first time Friday. This is also his first visit to Spanish-speaking Latin America. The country boasts the second largest population of Catholics in the world after Brazil, but Benedict's trip will likely be overshadowed by his deceased predecessor, Pope John Paul II. Barely a week before Benedict's arrival, an exhibit to honor John Paul opened in Mexico City. It was just this magnetic uh, energy that, that, that you can you know, feel whenever he, he was around, really, and, and it, was just, it just transformed the people while he visited. John Paul's shoes are indeed too big to fill. Mexico was the first country he visited in 1979, shortly after becoming Pope. He would honor the country with four more visits. Mexican Catholics call the Polish pontiff Mexico's Pope. But the spokesman of the Mexico City Archdiocese says it's just a matter of time before Mexican Catholics learn to love Benedict. When John Paul came to Mexico for the first time, nobody knew him. It was only after getting to know him that people started loving him. Therefore, we shouldn't jump to conclusions. Let us welcome Benedict to this land and show him that Mexicans are good hosts. A survey by a national polling organization found that more than three-quarters of Mexican Catholics are not excited by the visit or less excited than they were when the previous pope visited. There's no comparison, says Laura Dominguez, who still gets excited about John Paul's five visits to her country with stops in her native Mexico City. Pope John Paul loved being close to the people. I know there's a lot of conflict right now, but we don't like the fact that he's not coming to Mexico City. But I'm sure he's a generous man as well. There's hope for a renewal of affection in the new generation. Dominguez's 11-year-old daughter says she's really looking forward to the Pope's Mass. No lo sé, es como... It's like watching my favorite person, a superhero, and almost like watching Christ in person. When Pope John Paul II first traveled to Mexico, he was 58 years old. Benedict will turn 85 next month. One place he will not visit that Pope John Paul did several times is Mexico City, home to a monument honoring Mexico's patron saint. Vatican officials say that's because Mexico City's altitude could pose a risk to the Pope's health. Rafael Romo, CNN, Atlanta.